Drunker Steve here. Just received two questions on the channel. Hey, Steve, any tips when you pull out? I'd always end up crooked. Any tips on pulling up straight? Second question was, I don't, I just don't understand. When you're coming out after you clear the cone on your driver's side, when do you start turning it back so you can be aligned with the white, the white line and the cone? Okay, let's go and try to work this out. So first, what I want all students to do is always read your driver's manual. In your driver's manual, it gives you the test, what you're going to be doing. So in battle, on, uh, I guess it's uh, 12.2.3, forward offset tracking this is your exercise number three. And it's basically demonstrating your ability to maneuver a vehicle around other objects while moving forward. So here's, you got diagrams and you got the test. Your mirrors need to be properly adjusted. That's tip one. Don't ever start it, start it with, the, with the mirrors not properly adjusted. You come out here so nervous and you uh, fail to adjust your mirrors. So first of all, when you're pulling out, you would have to clear the cone over here. And then you're going to pull out wide enough to the left and then come back, start coming back to the right. As you come back to the right, you can stop if you want to. You can see in that mirror, that mirror is properly adjusted. You can see the hash mark. You can see your hash mark right there. And you can see the cone. And also, your, you should be able to see your tire in the back. Now, at this point, you can start moving back over to the right. You can start coming back to the right. You don't have to wait till your tires are all the way up here. You can come back to the right. You can still see your tires. You can see the cone and hash mark. Start moving to the right and get the trailer fairly straight. See, it's fairly straight right now. And you can still see the hash mark cone. Here, at this point, the trailer is just about fairly straight. You know the tires are going in between the cone and the line. And you can start moving back over to the left and get yourself perfectly straight parallel to the outside line so if you down here you already did your forward all set forward control stop you did your straight line and now you we're going to do our final test trailer's going to tractor's going to move out he in your mirror you can see the cone you can clear the cone by one yard you know make sure you clear that cone come back out come back out Fairly, fairly wide, not too wide, but come out wide enough. Come out wide enough. You already know you cleared this cone, but wide. Come out wide and start moving the tractor back to the right. So now in this mirror, you can see the hash mark, cone, your tires. Now you can start coming back over to your right, keeping an eye on the cone and the line because you don't want this trailer tire going anywhere near that cone. So now we can start bringing it back. I'm coming back to the right. You see the trailer is almost straight already. And then start straightening her up. But keep an eye on the cone. Make sure we're not hitting nothing. And you're already straight. If you practice and practice, you'll get this. You'll be straight. The tractor and the trailer must be parallel to this outer, outer line there. So, so if you're in traffic and you're going around curves, you have traffic all around you. And that's demonstrating your ability to operate a commercial vehicle without hitting the curb in between a hash mark, which is supposed to be about four feet from the curb, from the uh, cone, and then you start bringing it in. You use your mirrors. Go slow during this test, and then come out straight. So if you're in traffic, you got tractor trailers all over the place and cars, you don't want to end up like that. That's crooked. It's your ability to come in traffic. You come out a curve and you come out fairly straight. So that's the purpose of the test. And when you get down to the end and you're perfectly straight, you set your brakes, put it in neutral, hit your air horn. The tester will come back and give you a score. If you're ready, if you come out too short, don't come out wide enough so you can see that hash mark in the cone and you're ready to hit the cone, he's going to blow the whistle. You're going to be forced to do a backup so you can clear this cone and come back out. And those will be points lost. There are no free backups on this. If you clear, if you come out and you 
come out and you don't, and you come out like that, you don't have your tire in between the cone and the hash mark. You just lost a lot of points and this is not good. So you have to practice this. This is not a hard test. In fact, I had very few students. If I had 20 students, I only had one or two students that I tested myself personally for a test, MVA, DMV test, that failed it. So it's not a hard test if you practice it and you can get it straight. So once again, your tires, you don't have to wait, you don't have to ride all the way up here till your tires are up here. You can start, you already cleared this cone. You can come back to the right and you already see the hash marks and now you're in control. You can start moving back over. Now, move it back over, keeping an eye on the cone and the tires and then start straightening her back up. Come to the right, come to the left, and you are straight. That's it. Not that hard of a test. I hope these tips help you out, and let me know. See you next time.